How are y'all? Y'all. How are y'all's? Yeah. Are you ready to begin? Yes. So this means yes. yes. This means no. And this means I don't know. But you're here, so we might as well get started. Right? Don't you think? Don't you think? So what did we talk about last class period, uh, TJ? Standard costs and flexible budgets. Did we calculate anything last class period, Catherine? Yes. What you, uh, can you name a T account, uh, Angie? Direct materials. Can you name another one, Brett? Direct labor. Those are the two we did. There are four of them that we are going to do. We did the first two last class period, direct materials, direct labor. This class period, we're going to do variable overhead and fixed overhead. In that list of four, materials, labor, variable overhead, fixed overhead, which one's not like the others? Heidi? Fixed overhead's not like the others. Why, Cody? It's the only one that's fixed. Very good. Aubrey, which, one of the, which, one, which is the other one that's not like the others? Direct materials, why is it not like the other? Scott? And we were on a roll, huh? It's an inventory account. It's an inventory account. What's so special about inventory accounts, Taylor? Um, <laughs> she was thinking about the food that she was reaching to grab at that very moment, and she was not thinking accounting really heavily. Is, is that rough? That's roughly correct. Roughly correct. Not entirely correct, but roughly correct. So can you help her out? What is different about direct materials versus all the others? No, we know it's an inventory account. What's so special about inventory accounts is the question I think I asked her. Uh, they go on your balance sheet because they are assets? Yes. Versus the others, which don't? Yes. That's a little circular because it's kind of saying the same thing. Right. Uh, but mechanically, what happened with our, our variance calculations, though? What was the issue with our variance calculation caused by the fact that it was a inventory account? And all the other things you said were absolutely true, right? And we all know that. <laughs> yes, yes, that's what's so special about it. Because purchase, quantity purchased and quantity used, Carrie, do they have to be the same? Yes for direct materials? No, they do not. It's the correct answer. So they don't have to be the same. So that becomes an issue only with direct materials. For all the others, Catherine, is that what you were going to say? Something along those lines? Something along those, Something along those lines. lines. That was a lot cleaner way of saying what I was going to I've had a little practice. <laughs> yeah. Um, when can we calculate a grand total variance for direct materials, Brandon? When can we calculate a grand total variance? We calculate when quantity purchased versus quantity used. When, I would substitute the word when for your word because, when quantity purchased equals quantity used is when we can calculate the grand total variance. Okay. Good. When can we not calculate a grand total variance, Jim? When the purchase is doesn't equal used. When the quantity purchased is not equal to the quantity used. So far so good? How exciting? You really don't look excited. <laughs> you know, it's like, oh, Dr. Fessler, it's kind of gray outside, so we, we feel blah. And then on sunny days, but Dr. Fessler, it's so nice outside. We don't want to be in here. <laughs> and then on snowy days, but Dr. Fessler, it's just, yeah, so yucky outside. We don't like being there, being here. And so, you know, so I'm just wondering, what days do you like being here? Oh, not, not a one. There's not a one. So what page in the Handy Hand book should you be on? 317? Wow. And we already had the party last class period, correct? Party hats, favors, all that kind of stuff, because we're past page 13, right? Or 13. <laughs> 300. Yeah, I'm an accountant. Please don't tell me 
I'm an, <laughs> I'm an accountant and I can count. Uh, page 300. There was a three in there. Page 300. We, 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 we had the we're past page 300 party last class period. Did we not, Mr. King? No. Okay. <laughs> Um, and so do you have the labels normal costing system, extended normal costing system there? Well, welcome. Please come in, join us, enjoy. So normal costing system, this is used by, this was, at one point in my life I used a textbook that used these labels and they've kind of stuck in here. The normal costing system is what you know already, job order costing. Uh, I'm just going to write one T account on the board. What goes on the debit side of the manufacturing overhead T account, Mr. Roberts? Mr. Roberts? Hello. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, actual. I just wanted, I just needed one word, actual. Actual goes on the debit side. What goes on the credit side? Where's Nick? Nick is not here. Pamela, do you know what goes on the credit side? <coughs> applied. And how do you calculate applied manufacturing overhead, Jackie? Um, the, the and actual, okay. actual activity times PDR. Okay, so that's what's going on there, right? So the extended normal, so I, and the normal's on the left, so I'm gonna write the other T account on the right so as not to be too confusing. Extended normal. The thing is, and one thing, I mean, and I'd have to all but write my own textbook to get this information into it because I've never seen a textbook that shows you how to do this, and that is the fact that those variances that we calculated last class period and the ones that we're gonna calculate this class period, you can do all of that in T-accounts. You can do all of that into T-accounts because all that information in a, for a company that would use a standard cost system and, use, and then calculate those variances, those numbers are in the T-accounts. And all variances are closed out to cost of goods sold. And so, really, that's the reason I talk about this now is just to say, you know, Unfortunately, you are missing that context, right? Those T accounts that I show you at the beginning of the semester, we could use them for most of the year for most of our problems because most of the stuff we do fits into them. But unfortunately, most books and therefore the, you know, most problems don't kind of give you that sense of perspective always. Uh, actual is still gonna go on the left side of the T account. Ooh. Oh, Nathan, I was going to ask Nathan a really easy question. And then Denise, I was going to ask Denise a really easy question. And Adam, I was going to ask Adam a written. I might not have, to, I mean, now we're to Erica. I do have a very easy question for you. <laughs> what is, what, because I just said actual goes on the left side of the manufacturing overhead T account. What's the fancy accounting name for the left side of the T account? <laughs> the debit side, yes. And so, although she thought, she had to think about that a little longer than I was anticipating. But yes, it did prove to be quite easy. This, this is the debit side. So what's the right side, Erica? The credit side. See, that, that one was much quicker once she had it all figured out. And so that's applied. What, what Erica? Uh, 